Hello guys, it's Duong here. Two and a half years ago, my friend and I made a video promoting the rosary for our college campus ministry. It's slightly cringe because I'm slightly cringe, but here it is. Hello everybody, welcome back to Pray This Lent. I hope you all had a wonderful first week of prayer. This past week, we did different meditations on based off of Matthew Kelly's different steps for prayer. I hope that your meditation was well. If you have any questions or think of anybody else who might benefit from this, feel free to send them my way. I'm super excited about this next week because we are going to be talking about the rosary, which is a beautiful, awesome Catholic devotion. Each meditation that we have for next week comes from one of the mysteries of the rosary. So it's really allowing you to think about that mystery, ponder it, know the scriptural background for it, and then reflect upon it. And hopefully that will help when you pray the rosary to be able to dive further into those mysteries. In order to talk to, <laughs> tell us about the rosary, I have Brian with me. Brian is currently going through RCIA. Actually, I'm gonna let Brian introduce himself because I can't do it justice. Um, so here he is. <laughs> Hello, I'm Ryan. I'm currently in RCIA and I love the Holy Rosary. How did you find um, the Rosary? How did you become devoted to it? I found out about it through Reddit. Really? I think there are Catholicism and I saw some Rosary testimonies and I was like, I don't believe it. So I started trying to pray the Rosary and within a week I was hooked. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> that's so cool. So what do you love about the Rosary? Well, it really led me down, you know, to the truth of the Catholic faith. Mm -hmm. Our Lady has guided me, you know, this entire journey. So mm -hmm. I'm very devoted to the Holy Rosary. It's the surest way to Jesus. Mm -hmm. And Our Lady just loves us so much. Mm -hmm. And she's always looking out for us. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Yeah. So what do you want to share with us about the Rosary? Next to the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass, the Rosary is what leads us closest to the Lord Jesus. It has supernatural origins. It was given to St. Dominic by our beloved mother in 1208. St. Dominic was trying to convert the Albigensian heretics, and so he went to the mountains to pray and to fast and to do penitential acts, but sadly, he could not convert them. That is, until he had a vision of our most immaculate mother with the baby Jesus, and she told him to preach the Marian Psalter, the Holy Rosary. And so being a good child of Mary, St. Dominic went around town and preached the Rosary, and he converted all these heretics. <laughs> The Lord Jesus allowed him to conduct so many miracles. He would place the rosary on people possessed, and the demons would start screaming and shrieking, saying, get that off of me, get that <laughs> off of me. And throughout the history of the church, we've seen many of the greatest saints be devoted to the Holy Rosary. St. Francis of Sales says that the Holy Rosary is the best form of prayer. St. Alphonsus Liguori says that the rosary is the one devotional prayer that has led to the most miracles. Mother Teresa, St. Ignatius of Loyola, all pray the rosary every single day. Padre Pio, the greatest mystic the church has ever had, pray 30 rosaries a day. And if you don't trust the saints, listen to Our Lady. At Fatima, the biggest Marian apparition, Our Lady tells seven and 10 and eight year olds to pray the rosary every single day. And as we know, Our Lady only wants the will of God. Mm -hmm. In the Bible, Our Lady barely speaks, but in John 2, 5, she says, do whatever he says. So whenever Our Lady is speaking, we know that it is the will of the Lord Jesus. Since the rosary came from heaven, it is the most effective devotional prayer. As we see, the rosary combines vocal prayer, scripture, and contemplative prayer. Now someone might ask, where is the rosary in the Bible? Well, what are the two main prayers in the rosary? The Our Father, which is the prayer given by Lord Jesus himself, the best prayer in the world, mm -hmm. and the Hail Mary. The Hail Mary is scripture, as we see in Luke's Gospel. The angel Gabriel comes down and says, Hail, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Mm -hmm. And then we see St. Elizabeth filled with the Holy Ghost. And she says, Blessed art thou, my woman, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb. As we're reciting scripture, we're also meditating on the life of Christ. And the life of Christ is revealed through sacred scripture. So the rosary is the Bible and beads. But some people say the Holy Rosary is just vain repetition, quoting Matthew 6, 7. But not all repetition is vain. As we see in Revelation 4 8, the angels constantly say, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty. Mm -hmm. Now, is that vain repetition? Of course not. And now, if we were reciting the prayers given to us by the Lord Jesus and revealed through sacred scripture, is that vain? No, that is the lie of the devil. <laughs> the devil is always trying to get us to turn away from Our Lady because Our Lady is destined to crush the head of the serpent. And so we have to recognize that we are in the midst of a spiritual battle. The devil and all these demons 
are constantly trying to get you to turn away from Jesus, to turn to mortal sin. You can't show up to a spiritual battle without a weapon. Mm. St. Padre Pio called the Holy Rosary his weapon. In fact, it is a weapon. When we say the Hail Mary, we're asking Our Lady to pray for us now and at the hour of our death. Those are the two most important moments of our life. Now is in reality. At the hour of our death is right before judgment. And Our Lady is filled with grace, and she wants to help guide us to her Son, our Lord Jesus. Our Lady made promises for those who pray the daily rosary. She says that anyone who prays the daily rosary will be granted signal graces to know the complete truth of the Catholic faith. She also says that she'll protect those who pray the daily rosary, and she'll make sure that they won't die without the sacraments. Now some of you might say, praying the rosary is hard, praying the rosary is boring. I agree, but I say praying the rosary is like eating your vegetables. No one likes doing it, but you gotta do it anyways. Mm -hmm. Jesus tells us to pick up our daily crosses. He doesn't tell us to live for comfort, mm -hmm. to live for instant gratification. So pray the rosary. You're missing out on graces if you don't. That section snaps on that. Awesome. At this moment, the devil might be whispering to your ear saying, you don't need to pray the rosary. You could pray it later. You already prayed the liturgy of the hours. That is a lie of the devil. The devil loves trying to trick people. And one of his greatest deceptions is by telling people to do things later. You have to do it now. The devil is not going to just go out there and say, kill someone, kill someone. Mm -hmm. How he likes to work is by deception. And so the greatest way to deceive people is by making them think that they could do it later. Mm -hmm. And don't listen to that lie. Mm -hmm. Right now, you might be hearing the voice in your head saying, why does this kid keep talking about the rosary? I always hear this kid talking about the rosary. And that's because the rosary is important. Our Lord and Savior has known that you would hear this video mm -hmm. all of eternity. He has known that you would listen to this. And he's calling you to pray the Holy Rosary. He got his saints to preach the rosary. He got his mother to preach the rosary. And now you're watching a video about someone preaching the rosary. Are you going to accept his call? He wants you to pray it. Pray the rosary. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't know about you guys, but I'm about to go pray the rosary. Um, we're going to give you guys some information. I'm going to send attached with this email detailed on how to pray the rosary, giving each of the prayers laid out. If you don't know them, that's totally okay. Brian, I'm sure when you first started praying the rosary, you had no clue what you were doing, right? Yeah, I went on how to pray the rosary for dummies.com. <laughs> and I didn't even know what a decade was. And I was using my fingers and I was like trying to like count it. And I didn't really know that you had to like repeat the mysteries. Oh, but yes. Our Lady, sees your efforts mm -hmm. and if you pray it she will ensure that you will learn how mm -hmm. to pray it properly mm -hmm. and so even if you can't pray the entire rosary even if you can't pray a decade mm -hmm. even if you can only pray half a decade if you continue praying this daily half a decade this daily partial rosary our lady will supply the graces for you so this time next year you'll be praying three a day mm -hmm. and if praying a rosary a single rosary is too easy for you i challenge you to pray three a day because the traditional rosary is a 15 decade rosary that's the rosary that was given to St. Dominic by Our Lady. So what I'd love to challenge you guys each to do is to try and start with a decade a day of the rosary. And by the end of the week, you will have prayed a whole rosary. If you've prayed a decade, you've meditated on it, and you're feeling really at peace, don't stop there. Continue on and do another one. Yeah, sometimes the hardest part is just beginning. So give it a chance. Give it a go. Grab your rosaries. If you don't have one, God has given you a natural rosary. These are the rosary beads that you have. Look, that's a decade right there. God is so cool. Yeah. Our Lady has told us to pray the rosary because she knows that anyone could pray it. Not everyone can read scripture because not everyone could read. Not everyone could go to mass because not everyone has access to that. Mm -hmm. But everyone can recite the Hail Mary and the Our Father. Mm -hmm. And so I urge you to pray the Holy Rosary. Our Lord wants you to pray the rosary and to get the graces from his mother's hands. Mm -hmm. Ave Maria. Yay! <laughs> Thank you, Brian. Thank you guys so much for listening. Happy praying. I'll be praying for you all. So good. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I urge you guys to pray the rosary. I know that praying the rosary has drastically changed my life. And without it, I'd probably be damned. Uh, and thank you guys so much for your constant support in my videos. And uh, I love you guys. God bless. Have a good day. Let's close off in a Hail Mary. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now in the hour of our death. Amen. Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen.